This is the Fossil Gen 5. It's a top-of-the-line, easy-to-use, stylish smartwatch that many consider to be the best smartwatch on the market. Or, at least it was when they originally released it in 2019. So, how is it compared today? Is it worth buying? Or should you opt for a newer model? And after you've bought it, what can you expect? Well, on paper, there's a lot of things to love about the smartwatch. Mostly up-to-date specs like water resistance, display quality, Google Pay, and good overall performance. But it's not all good news with this smartwatch. We'll get to that in a second. The first thing I've got to point out is the design and build quality. I love the traditional analog watch style with the 44 millimeter circular display. It can be worn with multiple outfits in multiple situations. It comes in a variety of colors and bands to choose from, and you can always get a third party band off Amazon if you want something they don't offer. The display isn't completely seamless, and there is a bit of a dent which does take away a bit from the aesthetic and can be a bit of a dust trap. But the overall build quality and aesthetics are great. And that's really what sets this smartwatch apart from the competitors for me. If you're interested in updated pricing on the Fossil Gen 5, as well as any other products we mention, be sure to check out the link in the description. And subscribe if you like short, informative tech videos. Outside of the design and build quality, a lot of things about this smartwatch are pretty much in line with similarly priced, more up-to-date competition in my opinion. A lot of what you might expect from a quality smartwatch. The display is solid. The text is easy to read, colors seem accurate and vibrant. Being able to see the display even in bright sunlight won't be a problem. It comes with a wide variety of different faces available. I like this one. Fitness tracking and water resistance are great. It's completely waterproof, so you can take it for a swim, and there are plenty of preset fitness tracking modes for nearly every athletic activity you can think of. There is built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, as well as eight gigs of built-in storage, which means you can download music and apps directly to the Fossil Gen 5, and you can pair your headphones directly to your watch so you can listen to music while you run without needing your phone. With the Snapdragon 3100 processor, and one gigabyte of RAM, the watch is fast and reactive without any noticeable delays when performing commands. There are three buttons on the side. The middle button will bring up apps and the top button and bottom button can be customized with either a single tap or a double tap. Overall, just an easy to use device. Battery life on the watch is, well, questionable. Assuming relatively heavy use, there's a chance it won't even last the whole day when you use it on its standard daily mode. Fossil tried to handle this by adding in different battery settings where you'll have more limited apps. And they do extend the battery life depending on the settings you choose. The battery life is below average for the price point, so it's not all good news. So is it still worth the buy? Yes, it probably is, depending on what you're looking for. It's a quality smartwatch. You get a stylish, easy to use, high performing smartwatch even by today's standards. A lot of key features that you're looking for on a smartwatch are in this. Most importantly, they won't become outdated anytime soon. So at its reduced price point since release, it's a solid option. If you're interested in something similar, but more interested in fitness than style, the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 might be a better choice at a very similar price point. If you're wanting to spend more and want something newer, the Galaxy 3 watch is a better smartwatch in my opinion but it also costs an extra $100 or more. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Fossil Gen 5. Do you think it's still worth buying? Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want more short, informative tech videos. Like the video if you find it helpful. Till next time.